Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today we are going to talk about Splinterlands and how much can it pay you to play it. This is a play to earn game. What does that mean? How much can I earn with this thing? How much do I have to put into it? Do I have to put thousands of dollars to receive meaningful rewards? Do I have to spend years and years to receive something that is worth considering my time and attention? Let's talk about it. And we're going to look at three different accounts. We're going to look at a bronze level three account. We're going to look at a silver level two account. We're going to look at a diamond level two account. We're going to analyze the daily rewards for each of them. And we're going to, we're going to consider other financial factors that go along with rewards, not just DEC per win. How many loot chests per season? What are they worth? How many daily rewards and what are they worth? And we'll talk about other considerations also. If that sounds interesting, guys, Stay, stay tuned, like, subscribe, stick around. My name is Dwayne Cunningham. I go by Infidel1258. And we talk about Splinterlands all day, every day, because this game has changed my life and I think it can change yours. I'm going to explain to you how. And if you have questions, leave them below. I'll do my best to get back to everybody. I can't, I can't, but I do my best. Let's get into it. First thing I want to show you is that you can come over to splintercards.com and you can get some important information that we're gonna use for the basis of this conversation. You can come over here and click on tools. And you can go ahead and look at loot chest value. And this is gonna be up to the minute, but this is up to the second. And if I refresh, it'll change again. Let's look at it. These are the drop rates for all the things that are available. These are This is calculated based on the math that that Splinterlands has available, how many, what cards are being offered, what are the drop rates, and then ultimately, what are the values of those things, and thereby, what is the daily US dollar value of, of currently of one loot chest, and it's 53 cents. Using that information, I've calculated not just, again, not just the DEC rewards per win, but the daily and season rewards, and then not just on a season, but on a month and on a year, talk about it. First thing I should explain also is that I have three accounts. Infidel1258 plays the Diamond 2 level and often it reaches champion. But this season we're at Diamond 2 and right now we just we had a win about a half an hour ago and we as you can see we earned 27.585 dark energy crystals for that win. That's actually a really low number for a win at this level. But another thing you need to understand is that DC payouts vary widely and daily because they are algorithmically inflated, which means that there's an algorithm that decides how many to print and how many to issue per victory. And so these will vary on not just the day, but the league you're in. These numbers we're going to talk about today are based on the last battle that I won within the last half an hour. And it's as good a number as any. We're only talking averages anyways. 27.585. And if you click on this little eye, you can see what that I have a 96% capture rate with this account. I had a 5% win streak bonus and I had a 12% guild bonus. You might not have a guild bonus, but still, let's just go with the numbers as average. Then I have D Cunningham. It's my secondary account and it is fighting at the silver two level. You can see that right there, silver two. I'm at 1532 rating. Got five dark energy crystals per win, and that was with a 99% capture rate, 0% win streak bonus, 0% gold card bonus, 0% alpha promo bonus, and a 3% guild bonus. Lastly, I have a third account. It is finished. There are zero cards in this account that have it that are mine. They're just all starter cards. These are the cards you could have access to if you spent $10 on a spell book. You spend ten dollars. You create an account. You spend ten dollars in the spellbook. You can use cards that they you don't technically own, but they're 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 yours to use for as long as you want to play the game and as often as you want to play the game. And you will earn dark energy crystals when you win. Not much, half a DEC per win. That's including a five percent win streak bonus and no other bonuses and hundred percent capture rate. This is at bronze level three. So the point here is when you put no money, you, you buy a $10 spellbook and you put zero other money into this game, you will earn some DC per day. You're also going to get bronze three level season rewards and bronze three level daily rewards. 
Let's look more closely at all that, okay? Got it written out here. We're gonna start with bronze three. At bronze three, earning half a DEC per wind with 20 wins a day, which is conceivable. It's gonna maybe take you two or three hours. Depends on if you go on a win streak or not, but it's possible. Um, you're gonna get just over one DEC per day. It's pretty miserable. Ooh, this isn't even half a, this is, I said this was half a DEC. At bronze three, you're getting 0 0.05, which is 1 20th of a DEC per win. So you're getting literally one DEC per day at this level. Not much. But stay tuned because it gets bigger. Let's look at it. 1.12 DEC per day times 15 days, which is how many days are in a season within this game. So 16.8 DEC per season. Still, not much, but stay keep don't don't leave me here. Stay tuned. 16.8 divided by 130. 130, if you don't know, is the number of DEC that it takes to equate to one US dollar right now. Again, that, that number varies, but right now that's about that's roughly true. So that's the US dollar exchange rate. So we're saying you're making 13 cents playing this game from just your DEC rewards. Ooh. Sounds unsatisfying, sounds unimpressive, but you get season rewards. You're gonna get five loot chests every season that you play the game, and you will be able to earn these rewards for free. $2.65 based on the 53 cent that we talked about earlier, based on the splintercards.com data, which is again, the, all of the drop rates that are effective and, and accurate right now, and the market prices for all those things right now. So $2.65 per season for season rewards. Plus, you know, you're going to be able to earn every single day. You Not only do you get season rewards, not only do you get dark energy crystal rewards, but you get daily rewards from, build, from completing a quest. And that quest at this level is going to give you one loot chest. One loot chest a day times 10 days, because I'm not going to give it to you 15. You're probably going to miss a few. That's going to be five bucks. Five U.S. dollars plus two dollars and seventy-eight cents uh, worth of dailies and season rewards is um, seven dollars and seventy-eight cents. That's that's for all of it. That's for DC daily and season. Okay, seven seventy-eight. And how much did this cost you again? Ten dollars to buy that deck. You're gonna get seven seventy-eight in fifteen days. You're gonna do that every day, every fifteen days, till the day you get sick of the game. So this even if even if nothing else this is what you need to do because not only is it seven dollars and 78 cents it's seven dollars and 78 cents paid to you in deflationary assets assets that will appreciate with time because by necessity these cards are deleted they are merged because it, you must merge cards to make them more powerful so people at higher levels are going to buy 400 copies of a common card and merge them into one card. 399 cards are gone forever, never to be divided again, never to be rented, sold, used. Gone. So there's this diminishing supply at the same time that there's an inflation of uh, demand. The number of users is growing dramatically and we can see that. We need to, we need to prove that before we go any further. Go over to peakmonsters.com where are you here we are peakmonsters.com we go to explorer we go to dashboard these are the red line is the number of spell books sold per day over the last few days eight thousand people spent 10 bucks on this game today the day before nine thousand the day before 10 the day before 13 the day before 12 and on and on and on the daily active players right now today September 11th is 235,840 people. A month ago, 61,000. The number of, and like we say, these are deflationary assets because the cards are being burnt while the users are growing. These cards have always gone up in value. And as long as this game continues to be played, it will continue to see that these cards are finding appreciation. I'm convinced of that and that's why I have so many of these cards and why I always seek new opportunities to get more of them. I'm always looking for good deals though. I don't just throw money at big cards because I like expensive things. I wait for cheap ones. I don't really care about meta. I look for off meta. I look for discount. I look for the cards people don't like because I know 
that just like the, the popular card, the unpopular card is a deflationary asset. I can show you a hundred examples, but let's leave it at this. When I come over to my peak monsters and I go to my my cards, I can show you that I have $106,000 worth of total values, uh, total value. That's all my cards on this account. And that doesn't count for land. That doesn't count for SPS. That doesn't count for what else? Rental income that I that I, and monster flipping income I can produce. So at bronze, you're going to make about seven seventy eight per season. And you can do that. What can you do that? Let's see. Seven dollars and seventy eight cents per season. So what? Well, I mean, most games don't pay you anything for playing them, and this one's fun. And this one will pay for itself in two seasons, right? Two seasons you're gonna make 15 bucks the game cost 10. so you're gonna start making profit on the game how many games do you play that you make profit on 15 dollars a month times 12 months you're gonna make 186 dollars a year playing this game and remember that's not 186 dollars it's 186 dollars worth of deflationary assets let's keep going silver two Silver 2, you're getting 5 Dark Energy Crystals per win. See, 5 DC per win. That's uh, 20 wins a day, 100 DC a day, 100 DC times 15 days in a season, 1500 DC a season. 1500 divided by that US dollar uh, ratio is $11.53 per season. Plus, you got to add in the 15 loot chests for the season rewards, which is going to be another $7.95. So how much are we at here? That's $19.48 for the loot chests on your season reward and the daily DSC rewards. But then the daily loot or the yeah, the daily loot quests, another 11 13 And that's me giving you uh let's see at silver two, you're getting three loot chests a day. So I said you would at this this number is reflective of winning your daily quest three seven times. That's half the season. I'm being very conservative here. So 1948 for the DC in the seasons, 1113 for your dailies. Uh, sorry for your um, yeah, your daily quests is $30.61 for the season. That's $734.64. $735 a year for playing a game. And it's not US dollars that you receive, it's deflationary assets. Diamond 2. Diamond 2, you're going to win 27 DC per win. 27 DC per win there. What's that worth? 20 wins a day, 540 DC a day. 540, 540 DC times how many season, day, days in a season? Is 8,100 dark energy crystals per season. Divided by the US dollar ratio is 62 US dollars. I gotta do that again. That's such a big number. I gotta do that again. 8,100 DC divided by 130. 62 US dollars and 31 US cents per season for just playing this game. Like, that's just your DC. And like I told you earlier, this is a small number right now. This 27 Dark Energy Crystals I'm receiving. Let's get back to it. 27 DC per win. 20 wins a day, 540, 8100 DC a season, that's $62 a season, plus the loot chests is another 2650. That's it, that's at diamond level two. Now that, again, that's based on the average value. Some of these could be way more. Way more. That's the average value. So that's $88.81 per season for your DC and your season rewards, plus 6260, 6360 for those daily loot chests. And at this level, I get almost all of my daily new guests, but this number is not reflective of me being perfect. 6360 divided by 0.53. So 120, right? 120. Yeah, so I said I would, what I've told you here, the $63 for my daily loot chest is me telling you I, I will earn 10, possible 15 daily loot chests. I'm being conservative. These numbers could go up if you are 
more active than me and you make sure you get all your daily loot chests but 100 that's 152 dollars per season or three thousand six hundred and fifty seven dollars per year i gotta do that 152.41 per season times two seasons in a month times 12 months three thousand six hundred and fifty seven dollars and eighty four cents per year you know how much money that is it's 10 us dollars a day you want to know something how many no, let's go to google because google let's see how many people live on 10 usd a day yeah do you guys know what this is I, I do it's let's, let's let's see what google says i know what it is look at this few research seven in ten people globally live on 10 us dollars or less per day you know some of the poorest people in africa some of the poorest people in india some of the poorest people in china they they maybe have no opportunity to earn income or no way to measurably earn income it can be trade it can be barter but this is a thing that you could do for fun if all you have is a smartphone and smartphones are becoming ubiquitous even in those poor nations the opportunity here for growth and, and we showed the we already showed the daily accounts we showed the growth in the number of spell books sold but those things are a drop in the bucket I've just showed you that this game will pay you to play it at the lowest level, $7.50 per season. That's a dollar a day. No, it's, so it's 50 cents a day. Some people live on a dollar a day. They can generate 50 cents of depreciationary assets by playing a video game. At the higher level here, where you're gonna need some sort of commitment, you're gonna need to buy some cards. You're gonna, what was that number? We're talking seven hundred thirty-four dollars a year, two bucks a day, right? Yep. And at the at the diamond level, ten bucks a day, ten dollars a day, easily. That's what that's what we're talking about here. Life changing wealth for most of the world, and for you and me who maybe it isn't life changing wealth. How's that for a hobby? You're just gonna get ten bucks a day for playing the thing you already enjoy playing, and I promise you, this is a good game. It's, the people aren't here chasing after life-changing wealth. They're here chasing after an opportunity to reward themselves for something they already like. That combination is, is revolutionary. And because of the deflationary aspect of these assets, if you commit to this and you stake around for not a few days, not a few weeks, but a few months or a few years, you're going to find that you're going to accumulate your little spark, your little your little kernel is going to grow into something significant, life changing, because not only is it not only is it seven bucks per season or 30 bucks per season or even 150 bucks per season, there's so much more to it. We've got SPS airdrops for almost another 11 months. Those are paid out to people who own assets within this game. Those are an asset themselves. SPS staking rewards. Once you get some SPS, you can stake it and earn more. Appreciation on these deflationary assets. We talked about that, but not just the cards. The SPS is a deflationary as asset. Well, it doesn't get burned in the same way to be fair, but it is limited in number. There is going to be a lot more printed from today, but ultimately there is a limited number. The, the inflation will decrease. And if this game continues to grow, this token SPS, which is a governance token within the Splinterlands blockchain, or sorry, the Splinterlands video game is going to be an important asset to own so that you have a governance vote on the direction uh, that this game takes. So. I'm convinced that this is a deflationary asset that it will appreciate with time. SPS rank battle rewards are coming soon. We didn't talk about that. That's going to be a, another way to earn with this game. But but understand this: 
you're gonna win one battle and you're gonna receive two paychecks. You're gonna get you're gonna win one battle, you're gonna get dark energy crystals, and you're simultaneously gonna get SPS. Two paychecks for one action, for one victory. All of those numbers I just said, plus SPS. Air drops from booster packs. If you buy booster packs, the you will have an opportunity to receive airdrops, which are very powerful, which are very expensive. And then one day when you have cards of your own and you have accumulated them from playing the game through these loot chests that we've talked about or booster packs that you buy and then airdrops you receive, you're going to have a rental income opportunity because these cards can be rented. And, and I rent some of mine and they, and they receive some number of DEC per day. And they're mine they're, because of a smart contract uh, they're totally safe, they're totally secure, and I just keep, get this stream of revenue that will be mine forever. At the same time as I hold the asset, which I continue to believe will appreciate. So how great is that? It's like renting your house, but it never gets broken down by the, by the occupant. It stays in perfect condition and you can take it back any day you want, sell it if you want, but you don't ever have to. You can just generate that rental revenue. And lastly, we didn't talk about monster flipping, but that's an amazing way for people to get started. And I've always done it. You go into the Peak Monsters website and you can find cards that are really affordable and then buy them when they're low and sell them when they're high. And there's a complicated process to finding that type of value. I've done videos on it before. If you if you want to explore my catalog, there'll be stuff there that you're going to find interesting. But there's so many things here and we didn't we know we got to go back to Splinter cards because you guys don't understand the deflationary power of these things. You know, there's there's so many things I could show you. I could show you these reward card stats that show you how many print, how many how many of each copy of each card is still available in the booster in the uh, loot chests that we uh, open every day. And these cards are issued to us for free for playing the game. But but then when they reach 100%, they're no longer in circulation, and you can never receive another Axe Master, not from the loot chests. That's going to happen really really soon. When it does, there will be no more loot chests. Look at that. We're at less than half a percent away. This thing's selling for $8.40. When this thing is no longer being printed and given away in loot chests, this number can't help but go up because the supply is drying up. And the demand doesn't change. In fact, if the demand changes, it goes up, not down. So that's one way I could show you, but look at also these other reward cards that used to be handed out. Ruler of the Seas was a reward card that was given out. Card used to sell for, I used to buy and sell it for five bucks a card. If we go over here quickly and we see, go to buy and go Ruler of the Seas. That's a, this was a reward card, remember? People got it for free. They got it for free. You see what you see, what I'm seeing here? Ruler of the Seas, legendary, Water Summoner, or sorry, Legendary Water Monster. For a maxed out copy, is 1600 US dollars. For an individual copy, is $270. They used to buy and sell for five bucks. And in, in the time, in the three years I've been here, I this card was $5. The gold copy, I had a gold copy of this. I got it in a loot chest. I sold mine for, I think, 60, 70, 80 bucks or something. Look at this. It's, they're listed for 4,000 US dollars. That's just one card, but I'm telling you if, you, if you want to come over here for yourself and look at Splinter Stats, you can look at the reward cards, and every one of these is the same thing. Well, maybe not exactly the same thing, but they're all the same appreci wild appreciation wild and it happens that they're given away and then they're not and you have some because you played the game and they appreciate because they have limited supply and increasing demand and then we have to go back to splinter cards and we have to look at the tools again we can go over here and we look at pack value we can see alpha cards which were sold a long time ago when the game was just getting going they cost two bucks at the time and we can calculate the value of them today Want to know about appreciation? How's two thousand dollars per pack sound? And that's that's just the average value if you were to open one today, because it, the game understands, the, the, sorry, the website understands that the number of cards that you could potentially draw from that pack 
have crazy values right now. And because of that, the pack is worth $2,100. It costs two bucks. That was a long time ago though. What about beta? Beta beta's going for, these cost two bucks, remember. Beta is selling for $99. I mean, that's pretty, pretty good. I guess it's only 50 times the original value. I guess that's okay. This is a sort of appreciation and beta is not that long ago. It's before me though. It is more than three, 32 months ago because I wasn't, it, I didn't buy beta cards, but I'll tell you what, untamed packs I bought, I bought like a thousand of them. Untamed. Let's look at that. They cost two bucks each. How much are they going for? $35. Bought them for two bucks. They're selling for 35 US dollars. What is that? 17 times the original value in like a year, maybe a year and a half. I, I don't really know when they went on sale anymore, but, but don't even think that that's the end of it because it's not. Not only are these cards this much more valuable now, also you need to understand that when you bought these cards, you, you received airdrops and those airdrops were some of the best cards in the game. And I received, I bought a thousand packs of these and I got Scarred Llamas, I got Yodens, I got Kitties, and tons of other amazing, epic, rare, and legendary monster cards. All of which were mine for free, in addition to the five cards I got in the, in the pack. So, there's a lot here, and this is a, these are deep waters, but let's land it with this fact. $3,600, $10 a day at Diamond 2 per year. $10 a day, every day for the rest of your life. And it's not dollars, it's deflationary assets. Silver 2, two US dollars a day. It's not dollars. Bronze 3, 50 cents a day. But 50 cents a day for free after you've bought a $10 spell book and nothing else. And you can do that for the rest of your life. You could stay there and you're going to earn cards. By the way, when you stay there, you're going to earn some cards. Those cards are going to allow you to grind. You're going to get the silver two, or I mean to bronze two, and then you're going to get more rewards. And then those rewards are going to turn into other cards. And those cards are going to turn into other cards. And those cards are going to turn into other cards. And the whole thing is going to appreciate. And then you're going to flip one of those monsters for a lot of money or what's going to seem like a lot of money to you. And then in, in six months, you're going to say, oh, wow, I sold a ruler of the seas card for a hundred bucks and it's selling for four grand. You see what I mean? That's going to happen to you, but it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. This game is unique in this way because it not only rewards you for your time and attention, but it does so with these deflationary assets, which are so powerful. I hope this is interesting to you. I hope you enjoy this content. And if you do, I invite you to stick around. Splinterlands has changed my life and I think it could change yours. Um, I talk about it all day, every day, because I see it as a powerful opportunity for most of the people in the world. If $10 a day is not interesting to you, if, if owning deflationary assets by investing your time and attention isn't interesting, then probably I'm, this channel is not gonna be interesting. But if you're stuck around this long, I think you get it. Guys, I hope you enjoy the content. Wish you well. Thanks for your time and attention. Have an amazing night. God bless.